All right, so in today's video, we've got the Ruger Security 9 Compact here and a plate to mount a red dot, green dot, whatever you want to put in place of the rear sight. So this may or may not make it in the video, I don't know. But so we have the Ruger Security 9 here. There's nothing in the firearm. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and start the breakdown process here of this because I need to pull this rear sight off, which is one Allen key. It's this size right here. I don't know which size it is because my Allen keys are all over the place. But so I need to pull that out and then this little plate is going to go in its place. So there's your breakdown pin and slide this guy forward pull the spring out and drop the barrel now i just have the slide and then at this point i will take this now it's acting like i don't want to fit pretty sure i checked and made sure that this was the right side oh there it goes so break this guy loose I'm not sure if I have to reuse this screw or not. It might try to, uh, it comes with some screws, so we'll see. So that's out. This guy's still in there pretty good. Got my punch here that I wrapped with a little bit of tape. It keeps you from marring the finish on a slide or anything. And I'm gonna have to try to tap this site out. more all right now that's guys uh that's off of there so here's the plate um this one was ordered from lake line uh you can also get them from galloway precision so both of them make ruger security nine plates and i'm assuming the same one that fits the compact also works with the regular ruger security nine so, yeah, you can get these optic mount plates and uh, run a dot on your firearm. So this guy just slides into the rear sight spot, and you'll have to give it a little bit of love to get it to go. But it's supposed to just uh, knocked out the sight this way, so I guess I'll put it back in this way. Yeah, this will need a some love taps to get this to line up too and i'm not going to do that on the video i'm just going to go ahead and finish that all right so i got this guy on here and uh now i just got to put the screw back in you need to check to see what all they provided so this should be the screw the phillips head one that goes in the place that locks it into the slide. At the uh, AD green dot site here, it runs the Vortex Venom footprint. So this little plate supports that as well. It supports, uh, looks like a RMR footprint as well. Something, it supports something a little bit wider print on those. So I don't even know how well this stuff's showing up. My lighting's terrible in here. It's a cloudy day. I have no outside light coming in and the lighting in here is not the greatest so we're working with what we got here but yeah so it's got a little rubber piece that they send with this that goes underneath it that way you know it's supposed to cut down on you know the shock and stuff that this takes whenever it's being shot so we're going to mount this up i'm going to use the supplied screws that they gave us and we're going to stick this on here so let's go ahead and do that now Yes, yeah, so we're gonna run these flat ones because they are the ones made for this, and they're all the same Allen key head. So I am going to cut the video off real quick and install this, and then we'll come back to it. All right, so I got it mounted up here. The plate sticks over. It's for different size optics. It is wider than the sight too. So that's extra width that technically you could take off of here, which may do in the future and make it an exact fit. I don't even know if it'll stay on here or if it's gonna end up coming off. It's kinda awkward 
on its sizing, I don't know if you can tell. Again, I can't really see what this camera is seeing and how well it looks. This might not even make it in the video. But let's go ahead and throw it all back together. All right, so it's back all assembled again and got it on here. I don't know if that dot's showing up at all or if I'm at a right angle, but... So that's how you mount it. All right, so I don't know if I'm gonna put the installation part in this video, but I filmed it anyway, so I might put it. I don't know what's gonna happen. I might try to upload it and see if YouTube dislikes it. If they dislike it, I'll take it down and redo it without that part in the video. But it's installed on here. We've got the plate. It is wider than the actual slide itself, which I'm not a big fan of. I'm not sure if the regular full-size Security 9 is a little bit wider, and that's why that's that way. It probably matches that width, but it is wider than the dot itself as well, which I don't know if you guys can see the little gap there, the little ledge. It is wider, but it doesn't really look that bad. I don't have a problem with it. It seems to... One thing that I do like about the Ruger Security 9 and the way that the sight is, because the sight is so much further forward where it normally mounts, there's a lot of work with these plates that they could do. They could actually make this plate kick out more and do a co-witness site that's part of the plate. So they have the ability to really improve on this and make a really awesome plate if that's somebody's way that they want to put a dot on here. And it just depends if, you know, someone ever takes the time to utilize that. But I got the dot, the dot mounted up here. We're going to take it to the range, make sure everything's zeroed in. I know how it's going to function. I had this on the G3C and it held zero just fine. So I'm assuming I'm gonna get the same result on the Security 9, but that is something I wanted to bring up because this is far more forward, for, or far, further forward, can't talk. They have an option that they could really put a co-witness site on this plate and that might actually be a really good option for, you know, not getting your slide milled, but no, that's just my suggestion. Obviously, no one that makes those kind of decisions is watching this video, but it is something cool that I see potential in the future for. But let's head to the range. Let's see how it does. It's been a while since I've uh, got to be out here by myself without anybody out at the range. I'm going to stick up four targets. I'm going to shoot it at three yards, five yards, seven yards, then ten yards. See how the green dot does. And yeah. All right, so we're gonna start at three yards. I'm gonna aim a little high just because uh, it's zeroed in for about five yards. It's on. Let's see how we do. Shot it a few more times than I was expecting to. But, so top left is three yards. And then top right's gonna be five yards and whatever's left in this magazine's gonna be what I shoot five yards with. It's going low and to the right, so. I think my bore sight is crap. I'm gonna try to compensate for that and uh, I'll make the adjustments for it when I get back to the house. So I'm gonna shoot again at five yards and come up a little bit and try to compensate for that. I was wrong so that and that a little bit to the right I'm gonna try to go back and compensate again down there and we'll see how it does all right five more bottom right target
So, the grouping stayed together, it's holding in the same place, I just need to make adjustments for it. So, it works. Alright, it's getting dark, so I gotta make this quick, but, yeah, I gotta account for a little bit of user error, it's gotta be somewhat, I'm not extremely used to the Security 9 Compact, so, some of that is probably me, as far as it being off some, but, also, I think my bore sight is a piece of crap i got it for like 10 bucks on amazon so that will not be a a product that i recommend to anybody but yeah so it's once i held it in one spot the grouping stayed together so the mount works it the site wasn't shifting or anything everything seemed to work pretty well uh just not my bore site so if you're looking to get a optic mounted on your security nine and you don't want to pay the money to get it milled it seems like that might be a a good way to go for once i actually we have a sitter and i'm going to have dinner with my wife so that's gonna be the first time in like a year and a half so that's what we're gonna go do i hope you enjoyed the video if you would hit that like button subscribe to the channel um, I got a giveaway currently going. If you're watching this later on after that giveaway, there's more giveaways to come. That's what I got. I'll catch y'all later.